and welcome to Horn Trader on YouTube. Today, my special guest, hearkening back from the year 1981 or so, this binge Claude Gordon, 6XCG. Serial number is 37,308. 37,308. Like I said, around 1981, uh, probably just after I left Binge or even during Binge, I kind of think I was there until about 29,000 serial number, uh, leaving uh, like the summer of 1981 or so. So maybe this is made in the in the winter. Um, uh, CG. Uh, it's a large bore. It's 468 bore going all the way through the valve section until it comes out of the uh, bell tail stub. And that is choked down a 464. And so that gives guys uh, a little bit of resistance to push against. Resistance is your friend. Uh, a thinner bell. Uh, when they first started making these horns, they would make them uh, with the uh, regular gauge brass and then sand them down. And they destroyed too many bells that way. So they started just using a thinner gauge brass for the CG horns and that seemed to work until the the ultimate demise of Binge. You can see it's stamped Los Angeles but it was made in Anaheim. This one I would say the silver is about 99.9% .9 intact. Uh, it's when I, when I rub my hand through the bell, I can feel kind of like little waves, but it doesn't really show any scars of repair. Well, uh, maybe a tad, looks like a scratch was kind of burnished out. But it's in really good shape. Valves are nice and fast. Here's the compression. All slides pop. It comes with the original bra, um, bench Gladstone style case. Let's see, it says bench here. It's got multiple handles. Very nice, sturdy case for your bench Claude Gordon. You can see it's got a nice sound in the upper register and in the lower register. Depending on what mouthpiece you put into it, you can get different responses. Bright with the uh, HT3CS28. And you can also get uh, a rather dark flugally sound with the HT3 Jazz mouthpiece. I just noticed this little uh, scratch here. So it does have some scratches. Uh, yeah, you can see it kind of flicker in the the light there but uh, outside of that it's in really good condition for an 80 81 so what's that put it at uh, I don't know 24 years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so 2001 is 20 holy smokes 34 years anyhow you can find this great horn at horntrader.com in the vintage section Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.